Tuvalu seeks the floor. I give the floor to Tuvalu. Thank you, Mr. President. Glasgow has delivered a strong message of hope, a strong message of promise. Glasgow has delivered a strong message of ambition. What is left now is for us to deliver on that promise. I sympathize with the honorable gentleman from the European Union who yesterday showed us the photo of his grandson. I too am a grandfather of three little children and I keep looking at their photos every single night after returning from these halls, thinking what would I tell them upon my return from Glasgow? I will now be able to tell them that Glasgow has made a promise to secure them their future. That will be the best ever Christmas gift I will present to them. We have now embarked on the Glasgow train the Glasgow train of ambition, the Glasgow train of 1.5 degrees. Climate change is real. There is no politics in climate change. So my fellow political leaders, our response to climate change should never depend on whether our domestic response to climate change would get us re-elected in the next elections. <laughs> Responding to climate change is critical to our survival of our communities, the survival of humanity. It is not and should never be linked to our political survival in the next elections. So friends, we urge all countries to board this Glasgow train. We need to continue to work hard to keep this Glasgow train moving and moving fast so we can reach the next COP at Egypt and deliver on that Glasgow train of ambition and 1.5 degrees. So in closing, Mr. President, we thank Glasgow we thank the Prime Minister Boris Johnson and your presidency, Alok Sharma, and your team for your able leadership. And we thank Glasgow for keeping us safe. Friends, Glasgow ends today, but the real work begins now. We must now deliver on the Glasgow train of ambition and 1.5. Thank you all.